Hey, it's Miss Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Wanted to come on really, really quick and talk about body lotion today. Um, what's lotion? Lotion, the stuff you put on your skin so that it'll stay hydrated. Yeah. Ah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Some of these commercial lotions contain so many harmful chemicals, like a lot. Okay, so I just want to go real quick. I'm going to go through with a few of the harmful chemicals found in lotion. And you go read your product labels. See if your lotion contains any of these. If they do, get rid of them. Get something. Get, what's the t-shirt say? More natural products. More natural products. Less harmful chemicals. Yay. Okay, that's what we're striving for. We're striving for more natural products, less harmful chemicals. And let's start with lotion, okay? Okay. So, like I said, lotion, um, we use it to hydrate our skin. Now, here are some of, the, um, some of those the icky ingredients found in lotion that we don't want, okay? We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want it. Uh, patrolatum. It's a mineral. It's a mineral oil jelly. And it's used um, as a barrier to lock in moisture. So that's, you know, usually if you have some lotion, it's got the um, petrolatum in it. The, here's the thing. Over time, over time, it can cause skin irritation. So, um, and even allergies. So sometimes, and we know that as we age, we grow in and out of allergies. Now, the, here's the deal. Sometimes you might be using a product. And then you're allergic to it. And you're like, what the heck? I've been using this all my life. Well, that's because, one, we grow in and out of um, allergies. And, two, is because some of these products, some of them, contain things that, over time, are going to cause you some form of irritation. So, that's something to keep in mind. All right? Now, um, another one is propylene glycol. And that's one of the most controversial ingredients because it's also found in antifreeze. Imagine that. Your lotion has the same thing in it as your antifreeze. <sighs> I'm sure we can make lotion without propylene glycol. Can we? I know we can. I know we can. We can do it. We can do it. Anyway, it's used. It's They add it because um, it helps all the other ingredients, um, you know, hang out together in the same container. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, red dye number four. It's a common dye um, known to contain traces of cancer-causing substances. So, that's the red dye number four. The other one is yellow dye number six. And, you know, that's the most harmful dye that it. It's been controversial for years. So yellow dye number six, you know, and it's not only found in some of our products, it's actually found in some of our foods as well. So keep that in mind. Like I said, make sure you're reading your um, product labels. It's important. So you know what's in there. Um, yeah, so those are a few that I'll go over today um, that... Make sure, you know, read your labels. See if any of these ingredients are in your um, lotions. If they are, I can't tell you what to do. I promise I can't tell you what to do. You're not going to hear from me. You're not going to be like, oh, Cece telling me to, to stop using my lotion. I love so-and-so lotion. No, but I am going to encourage you to read your labels. I am going to encourage you to find more natural products because more and more, even on the shelves, um, natural products are available. So you have safer alternatives available. And I will tell you, there are so many options out here for you to use that um, you don't have to slather your skin in chemicals. You don't have to do it. You, you don't. And it's a lot of natural products out here that smell good because one of the myths is, is that the natural products don't smell good and they don't work as well. And I'm here to tell you that's not true. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for these few minutes. Um, 
and watching the video. I will see you in the next one. All right, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye.